Hey there! Grab your popcorn and hot dogs, this is gearing up to be the spectacle of the century. We'll compare ancient water monsters in several categories, then pit them against each other in a duel to see which one's the true queen of the water. The contender on the left needs no introduction. The Alpha, the boss, the legend that lived on our planet 3.6 million years ago. She's still the hero of myths and legends and a nightmare for fishermen around the world. Make some noise for Meg the Megalodon. In the right corner, Sarko Sukus, aka Sarki. She's the ancestor of today's crocodiles and a real grandma compared to Meg. She lived about 120 million years ago and saw the dinosaurs come and go. They were even her breakfast sometimes. She lived in what is now the Sahara, but there was no desert then, and the world looked totally different. Although this crocodile isn't as famous as Meg, she's still not afraid to go up against the giant shark. Round 1. Size Since the only remains of the megalodon are teeth and vertebrae, her true size remains a mystery, but if we compare her remains to the bodies of modern sharks, we get the incredible size of 50 feet. That's like one and a half buses. But I bet you wouldn't want to take a ride on that kind of transport. Meg's fin alone is the size of an adult. This ancient monster remains the largest shark that ever existed. The largest white shark ever measured was 17 feet long. That's less than half. Now Sarki's turn. Until recently, we only had the teeth of this ancient crocodile to go on. But then, scientists discovered some new remains, and they were able to figure out just how big she really was. Sarki was as long as a limousine, about 30 feet. The largest crocodile ever measured was a saltwater crocodile, only 20 feet. Sarki's head was 5 feet long. That's almost a whole person and her mouth had a special mace-shaped tip. But even with that, she's still only half the length of Meg. So the ancient shark wins this round, and the first point goes to Meg, one to nothing. The next category is weight. Let's start with the contender in the right corner. The largest modern crocodiles weigh about a ton, Sarki made it all the way up to four tons. That's like two helicopters heavy. Her weight and size allowed Sarki to be queen of the ancient river, but she's pretty much a toothpick compared to Meg. You'd need a pretty hefty set of bathroom scales to weigh the contender in the left corner. Once fully grown, Meg weighed between 30 to 60 tons. That's a lot. A cargo helicopter can lift nine tons, it would take around five of them to lift Meg safely. The heaviest shark nowadays? The white shark. Only 3,500 pounds. Meg wins the second round, and the giant shark gets another point. Two to nothing. Moving on. The next category is agility. We can assume that Sarki could reach the same speed as most modern crocodiles. In the water, we're looking at up to 20 miles per hour. That's about three times faster than the fastest human swimmer. Her speed mostly comes from her long and muscly tail. It's one of the strongest muscles in her body and gives her speed and agility. But Sarki wasn't limited to the water world. She liked to move around on land too. Like the big modern crocodiles, she could probably run at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. This allowed her to go after other animals, not just fish. She definitely had a soft spot for large lizards, and even small dinosaurs. So what about Meg? It's hard to move such a massive muscle machine. Her maximum speed was around 10 miles per hour. That allowed her to catch up with whales and smaller fish. She felt pretty good about herself, but 10 miles per hour is not really that fast. Modern white sharks can reach 35 miles per hour. That's three times faster than Meg. So our giant shark was more like a truck than a Ferrari. Slow to accelerate, slow to brake, and extremely bad at turning. If Meg wanted to run the 100 meters, it'd probably take her about 50 seconds. The human world record is just under 47 seconds, but that's in a pool where you have to pull a U-turn halfway. There's no way Meg could do that. 
Looks like Meg lost a bit of ground to the agile crocodile, and our river monster is finally up on the board, 2-1 to one in favor of Meg. Okay, next round. How about we call it eating tools? Of course, Meg's main tool is her teeth. Megalodon means big tooth. She had the largest teeth ever recorded. Five rows of teeth, 250 in total. The largest ones were over seven inches long, and you better believe they were all razor sharp. That's definitely enough to bite through a tough leather couch, know what I mean? So if you ever saw Meg smile at you, well, that's probably the last smile you'll ever see. And her jaw's incredible. You could drive a car into her mouth or lie down in it with room to spare. Her bite force was so strong that it could easily bend metal. Whales, dolphins, fish, fishing boats, crunch, munch, gone. Sarki's teeth are a bit different, but no less awesome and powerful than the biggest shark of all time. She had 70 teeth up top and 62 down on the bottom. Their shape allowed Sarki to grab her lunch and never let go. Crocodiles in general have one of the strongest bites of any species, and it's their main superpower. But don't forget about that tail. Sarki's was so heavy and strong, it'd be like getting hit by a motorbike. That kind of versatility earns Sarki one more point. We're all tied up at two. Bonus round. Audience sympathy prize. If Meg were around today, she'd definitely live in Hollywood, making movies, TV shows, commercials, and she always seems to play the villain. Mm. Well, she's also the hero of countless scary stories told by fishermen around the world. Many people even believe that she's still swimming about down there, somewhere, hiding from us in deep waters, like the Mariana Trench. But Meg needs a lot of food to feed such a large body. She'd have to keep coming up to the surface to find enough to eat. So, so much for that myth. And Sarki? She's more of an indie artist, not really the Hollywood type. But like all crocodiles, she puts fear into anyone who lives near a river. Crocodiles love that late night snack, so a lot of people are even afraid to leave their homes after sunset. And locals sometimes find crocodiles in their backyards. Imagine seeing Sarki laid out on your brand new deck. Let's give Sarki this round, and she's taking the lead, three to two. Okay, the final round is all about that X factor, combat skills. Meg still holds the crown for the most dangerous you'd ever come across in open water. And it's mostly thanks to her intelligence and strategy. We can figure out Meg's tactics by looking at other animals from that time. Many ancient whale bones have scratches from Meg's teeth. It seems like she knew where the weakest points of various animals were located, so she knew where to nibble at first. She seemed to enjoy a little fin appetizer before each meal. Sometimes she'd give them a nudge first. They weren't swimming away after that kind of impact. Then it's main course time. Sarki may seem weaker, but she's full of surprises. She's fast and agile, so she could easily catch up with even the fastest mammals that had come to get a little drink of river water. And when she bites, she never lets go. But scientists say Sarki probably couldn't do all those awesome wrestling moves that today's crocodiles love to do. She couldn't roll around, holding her lunch in her teeth. The structure of her head simply didn't allow her to do that. But even so, she pretty much always came out on top. Not too many crocodiles go hungry. Sarki had a good round, but we have to give this one to Meg. She's just too awesome. And we're all tied up again, three to three. Well, it's time for the big face-to-face -face matchup. The arena, the place where the mighty river meets the vast ocean. Sarki's great at hiding and sneaking up on people, and so she gets the first go. Meg tries to dodge, but the ancient crocodile already found a tasty fin. Unfortunately, Sarki's teeth are a little too short to cause even the slightest harm to big old Meg. She breaks free and pushes the crocodile with her powerful body. Sarki looks stunned, and Meg sees her chance to make a U-turn and end it. She gathers speed, and... Oh, it's all over with a single bite. K.O. 
Meg has defended her title and remains the undisputed champion of the world. Who will challenge her next?